Today we're working on factors and whole numbers. If you're following along in your textbook, this is section 3.1, which begins on page 134. The learning intentions today are to use a factor tree to find the prime factorization of a number, to determine the greatest common factor of two or more numbers, and to determine the least common multiple of two or more numbers. Before we can start today, we're going to look at review of what is a prime number. A prime number is a number that is divisible by only one and itself. Example of some prime numbers are the number 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and these continue. Notice 2 is the only even prime number. Today what we're also going to work on is prime factorization. And prime factorization is when a number can only be expressed as a multiple of its primes. An example of this would be the number 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Notice 2, 2, 3, and 7 are all prime numbers. This can also be written with exponents. 2 times 2 is 2 squared times 3 times 7. Today we're going to use factor trees in order to factor our numbers into prime factorization. So let's start with the number 84 again. The way a factor tree works is we're looking to divide by the smallest prime numbers first. So I'm going to start looking to see if it's divisible by 2, then 3, then 5, then 7, so on and so on. We know, first of all, it's 84 is divisible by 2 because it's an even number. 84 is 2 times 42. Now again, 42 is also even, so it is divisible by 2. 2 times 21. Now, we no longer are divisible by 2 because 21 is not an even number. However, you can tell a number is divisible by 3 if its pieces add up to something else that divides by 3. For example, 21, 2, and 1 is 3, which means it's divisible by 3. You could also go right back to the top and see it was divisible by 3. 84 is 8 plus 4 would be 12, and 12 divides by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 3 times 7. And now at this point, we're done. We've ran out of numbers that are divisible. So if we take the left side of our branches, that's why it's called a factor tree, because each of these are branches, we have a 2, a 2, a 3, and a 7. So this is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Let's look at another number now. The number 528. So I'm again looking for numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, so on. Number 528 is an even number, so it divides by 2. 528 divided by 2 is 264. The number 264 is also even. It divides by 2, and it is 2 times 132. 132 is also even. It will be 2 times 66. 66 is even. 2 times 33. We've run out of even numbers, so now we look for 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, so I know this divides by 3 because 6 divides by 3. 33 is 3 times 11, and I've now completed it because I cannot divide 11 any further. It is a prime number. So my answer in prime factorization form would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 11. So write that out. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, times 11. Or we could clean this up using exponents. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There are four 2's, so it would be 2 to the power of 4, times 3, times 11. Okay, now we're going to look at greatest common factor. The greatest common factor, or the largest factor that two numbers have in common, is the greatest common factor. So one way to do this would be to find all of the, 
the factors, the timetables that make up the numbers. For example, the greatest common factors of 24 and 32 could be 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. And now number 32 is 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 4 times 8, and that's it. We've come up with all of the times tables that make up those two numbers. Now the greatest one they have in common is the number 8. So the greatest common factor is 8. Now I'll show you a way to do this without having to come up with all the times tables. What we can use is we can use the factor tree we just worked with. 24 was, or is, 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. So it's 2 cubed, 1, 2, 3 of them, times 3. 32 is 2 times 16, 2 times 8, 2 times 4, 2 times 2. So this is 2 to the power of 5. In order to find the greatest common factor, we want to take all the parts they share in common. Notice they share 2's in common. Now the most 2's they share in common are 3 of them. Let's write this out the other way. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and 2 to the power of 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many do they have in common? They have three twos in common. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the greatest common factor of 24 and 32 is 8. Now what you can now what you can do is go ahead and try this for yourself. Try numbers 72 and 90. Go ahead, hit pause, try this, and then rejoin me in a second. Okay, so hopefully you tried this, and hopefully these are the factor trees you came up with. Now, what do they share in common? They share a 2 and a 2 in common. They share a 3 and a 3 in common, and a 3 and a 3 in common. So 2 times 3 times 3 is 18. The greatest common factor these two numbers have is 18. The last part of the lesson today is least common multiple. And least common multiple shortened is LCM. And least common, or lowest, number that is a multiple of each. Another way of saying this is a number that is divisible by both of the numbers we're going to use. So for example, let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. Now, Factors get smaller. Multiples, which we work with now, get bigger. So multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and these keep going. Now the multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and these keep going as well. And now they will have more multiples of each other. They will match up again. However, the smallest or the least common multiple is the number 24. It is the smallest multiple that these two numbers have in common. Now let's look at this using what we've learned today with prime factorization. So using the numbers 6 and 8 again, if we find the prime factorizations of each, 6 is 2 times 3, 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. So at 6, we just simply have 2 times 3. And for 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And these ones are usually easier written as powers to solve. 
Now to find the least common multiple, what we do is we take the most of each prime factor we have possible. So here we have 2 to the power of 1. Here we have 2 to the power of 3. We want the biggest one, so we're going to take 2 to the power of 3. And now for the number 3, we're going to take wherever there's the most. Here we have 3 to the power of 1. Here we don't have any at all, but we're taking the most possible, so we're going to take this one. So now what we have is 2 cubed, which is 8, 2 times 2 times 2, times 3 equals 24, just as you saw in the last example. Okay, let's look at one final example. Let's look at finding the least common multiple of the numbers 18, 20, and 30. Sometimes we'll use more than one number. So let's start with the prime factorizations. 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So I have 2 times 3 squared because there's two 3's. For the number 20, we have 2 times 10. 10 is 2 times 5. So we have 2 squared times 5. 2 times 2 is 2 squared and a 5. And now for the number 30, 30 is 2 times 15, and 15 is 3 times 5. This gives us 2 times 3 times 5. Now comparing our three prime factorizations, for least common multiple, we want the most of each prime factor possible. So in the first one we have a 2, second one 2 squared, third one a 2. We want the most possible, so we're going to use this 2 squared. Now for the 3's. There's a 3 squared, no 3's at all, and a 3. We want the most possible for least common multiple, so I'm going to take 3 squared. Now, we're done with 2's and 3's. Here's a 5. We have a 5 and a 5. We want the most possible. This one has 1 5, this one has 1 5, so the most we can take is 1 5. Now, what's our final answer? 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9 times 5. And 9 times 5 is 45. 45 times 4 is 180. And that concludes our lesson for today. Your assignment for this is page 140, questions 3 to 11, omit number 7.